This is a moment that generations have been waiting for. I mean, literally, back in the early 2000s, we had phenomenal experiences like San Andreas and Vice City. Then I personally spent much of my middle school, high school years playing Grand Theft Auto 4, and then for much of my adulthood, we've had Grand Theft Auto 5. And of course, it has been the wait for Grand Theft Auto 6, but it's been something that a lot of people have been laughing about, saying we'll never get it, but... Here we are now. Rockstar Games has officially had the first tease for this next Grand Theft Auto installment, potentially showing off some of the colors that they, I guess, maybe part of the new logo and everything. Very interesting, different than, you know, all the mock-ups that we have online. This has like a, it has a little bit of a tropical theme, I suppose. It's still going with that. But they have confirmed trailer number one is coming Tuesday, December 5th, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And not to toot my own horn, I am doing that. But that is the exact prediction I had. I had that they were going to tease something today on the 1st, which is technically their, I think it's their 21st anniversary based on the legal filings and stuff. But December 5th makes a lot of sense. It's a couple of days before the Game Awards. They don't want to overshadow that. That's why I thought it never made sense that uh, the trailer was going to debut at that show. And it's not going to happen. Now, if we look at history and everything that we've seen from past uh, Grand Theft Auto, Red Dead, and other trailers from Rockstar Games, I think we kind of already have an idea of what this first trailer is actually going to show us. And as Game Rant points out, what to expect from GTA 6 is a reveal based on Rockstar's history. Grand Theft Auto 4, March 2007, the reveal trailer was like time-lapse shots of Liberty City, punctuated by some introductory exposition from Nico. GTA 5's November 2011 reveal trailer, Michael DeSanta monologues over tracking shots of life in motion in Los Santos. And then RDR2's October 2016 reveal trailer had shots of nature encroaching civilization on the American frontier, ending with foreboding advice from Arthur Morgan. So it's more likely than not that we're going to hear some dialogue, probably from Lucia, maybe Jason, giving us an introduction into Vice City, the Bonnie and Clyde theme that's going to be at play here in this new Grand Theft Auto installment. But it very much is not going to be a lengthy trailer, probably 90 seconds. It's all going to be within game. Just the stuff that we expect from Rockstar Games that makes them very different than all of the other developers and publishers in this industry that heavily rely usually on CGI trailers, which don't exactly show a representation of those games properly, in my opinion. But that's what makes Rockstar Games the best. And within those 90 seconds, I also do think we're going to see a little bit of the variety that this game is going to offer. Of course, we're going to see some of the city life. Maybe we'll see some nightclubs. But I also do think we're going to see the surrounding regions, the inspiration that Rockstar has taken from U.S. states like like Georgia and Louisiana. So maybe seeing some different animals, the wildlife that makes up those parts, and also the people. Now I did find this interesting that Jason Schreier, the guy who leaked all of this Grand Theft Auto stuff that we've kind of known about the last couple of years besides those 90 leaked videos, he revealed in a recent podcast that he had heard a little interesting tidbit about the upcoming trailer. This is what he had to say in his recent podcast of Triple Click trailer in December um, and then the next day after it happened it got me kind of going back and looking at old Rockstar trailers which by the way there's nobody better in this business oh. at making trailers than Amazing. Rockstar very true um, nope. they're the best every single one is just just a, a banger and from what I've heard this this one is going to be a banger too um, but yeah and it got me uh, interested and that's the thing. Uh, Jason Schreier obviously has insight so it appears at least based on what he's saying that Rockstar developers or at least the people his sources that he knows have seen the trailer and it's a banger, which really isn't that surprising. We just, we know what to expect out of Rockstar in this regard. And we've already seen some of Grand Theft Auto 6 and it looks like it's going to be a phenomenal experience. And much of what we've seen is literally just pre-alpha footage and stuff. Now, as of late, we have had some very interesting recent news I thought I'd quickly bring up. Just some interesting tidbits to know about. Rockstar Universe, one of those original sources that started to hint at a December reveal. They were on the money as their sources were correct. They published an article about everything that they knew about GTA 6, and this was a very interesting revelation that they mentioned. They said that it's rumored by an internal source that Lucia has a child who appears in the game's storyline. This is notable. Now, I'm not going to go any much 
any bit further with this really because what I've heard is that this was an early in development thing and I'm not even sure if it's still in the game so that's the problem with leaks you really don't know what's been changed and stuff and with Rockstar there's a lot of cut content that's why when I hear people talking about the 90 leaked videos and they're making certain uh, opinions about that footage and whatnot it's important to remember that is pre-alpha a lot of stuff gets cut a lot of stuff gets changed and that's exactly what I've actually heard about that footage a lot of it was early prototypes and stuff and a lot of that's not going to actually make it into the game but that doesn't necessarily mean that a lot of what was shown won't be in the game because it will be because I mean Jesus so much was shown or at least so many things were mentioned I should say now there has been some other interesting things as of late. Grand Theft Auto 6 leaks weapon that's uh, been missing for 14 years. This was another leak that happened. Again, it kind of got overshadowed by a lot of the stuff that's been going on. But in a Rockstar game developer's LinkedIn profile, they mentioned that they were working on the Chainsaw, which I know a lot of people are going to be excited to see that coming back. It was part of the 2D UD UI team for various Grand Theft Auto projects at Rockstar Games, this developer. And they did include Grand Theft Auto 6. This developer mentioned in a now deleted post that he created over 500 2D assets for Grand Theft Auto 6, including interior prop labels for items like a fire extinguisher, chainsaw, electric board, boat motor, and car engine. And I know some people may be thinking, like, why would a developer accident? This is probably just an accident that they put on their profile, but it is worth mentioning that. Early pre-alpha, I think Red Dead Redemption images leaked on a LinkedIn profile of a Rockstar developer years before the game was even announced. So this isn't too surprising. This stuff just happens. And uh, yeah, this developer probably got a very big message from Rockstar Games' uh, PR team saying, hey, you need to delete this now. Now, there has been some other... I guess you could say unfortunate revelations because there has been, you know, a lot of attention on the innovation and the way that Rockstar is going to really push the boundaries with this Grand Theft Auto installment. And one of those ways that a lot of people were talking about was extreme weather. And we have this update. Rumored GTA 6 cut content is better left out of the game. That's their opinion on it. I know some people are going to be feeling a little bit different about this, but Rockstar Universe, again, that same source we just talked about a second ago, said that they heard that Rockstar wanted hurricanes and tornadoes as to why they were cut, I don't know. It could be tech limitations. It could be something else. So it appears that this is one of the examples of scrapped content in the game. A little bit unfortunate, but maybe not too surprising. Just because, again, I think there is limitations even with these uh, current-gen consoles that we have nowadays. Now, this has been another big thing that's been going on as of late. As it does appear that it's not just Rockstar Games' announcements that they're making with Grand Theft Auto. They've been doing a lot of stuff in the background. And as PC Gamer writes, GTA 6's trailer reveal approaches, Rockstar Games wax the name Rockstar Social Club. They seem to be doing a little bit of an overhaul to their website overall, and it does seem like they're going to be introducing something new or something different with Social Club very, 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 very soon. Um, and some people did notice that Rockstar, again, they've been fooling around their website. This is a big thing on uh, the GTA 6 subreddit, Rockstar changing their logo a little bit, although some people say that this has been on their website for a long time, and yeah, it has been debunked. So it, it really is hard to keep up with a lot of this information and figuring out what's real and what's not and what's just dated and people just throwing stuff up. And this is one of those examples that I could mention about that. Now, one of the actors that has been linked to Grand Theft Auto 6 is Alexandra C. Cavario Lacaros. She was rumored for a long time to be Lucia. And we now have her confirmation that she is actually not playing the role as she actually just appeared in Grand Theft Auto Online. So this is something that I've known for a while now, just like the whole uh, Jason actor, the one that's been rumored for a long time. I don't even remember his name right now, but he's constantly posting stuff on his social media and people are constantly talking about how he is the real deal. He is not. I don't think actually any of the rumored actors, at least the ones that I've seen, are in fact the actors. Um, but yeah, Lucia is not played by this actress and she remains a mystery until eventually people will figure it out. I'm sure that's going to happen eventually. Anyway, a lot of stuff is happening at Rockstar Games. A lot is changing. We did see recently that Rockstar's co-founder Dan Hauser and a couple of the lead writers uh, that worked on games like Red Dead Redemption 2 formed a new media company of sorts. It does seem like they're working on uh, some books and stuff. So it does look like 
they're trying to get away from the game development side and just work on stories, which maybe that makes sense. I mean, these guys probably got kind of tired sitting around waiting so long just working on a couple of games when their creativity can be put to use in some other regards, consulting to other uh, developers, other mediums and stuff. That does seem to be what they're exploring. Kind of disappointing just because of their immense talent and there have been questions about what their... Uh, disappearance i guess from future rockstar installments will mean in terms of the quality we'll see what happens in that regard um there has been all, con all kinds of different theories as grand theft auto online just recently announced a new update animals are finally coming to the game some beloved characters like yusuf from grand theft auto 4's ballad of the gay tony is also returning and it does appear to be a smaller update but i think that really is evidence that rockstar's focus right now is on grand theft auto 6. now I have a lot of concerns about this game, but I also am just extremely excited. This announcement from Rockstar Games that we got today is just, I wouldn't say it's shocking, but it's just a surreal moment in time that we're all finally getting excited about this game. And of course, I will be covering this reveal trailer, going to have it on the channel, so make sure you are subscribed. I'm going to be breaking it all down, as I did with Cyberpunk, as I did with Red Dead Redemption 2. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel, and uh, let me know how you're feeling about Grand Theft Auto 6, and what are your expectations. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below, but thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy this video, and I'll see you later.